spectacular video of the explosion was posted to social media sites less than an hour after it happened. Run, run, run. The chief scientist for the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory says today's event might be spectacular, but it's not unheard of. And this kind of thing probably happens once or twice per year somewhere in Yellowstone, just often in the backcountry, and so it escapes notice. A similar event happened in the Norris Geyser Basin on April 15th of this year and in 2009 at this same location. It happens when water trapped underground comes in contact with hot rocks and suddenly flashes to steam. These hydrothermal explosions can occur almost without any kind of warning whatsoever. Uh, this is sort of makes them notoriously difficult to forecast and monitor. There may have been some slight change in behavior of the pool before this explosion occurred, but it might have just been seconds, if that. There are no reports of any injuries from the event, but the potential was there. As you can see in these photos of the damage done to the boardwalk taken shortly after the explosion. Well, the big danger is getting splashed with boiling water or you know, rocks. And there's some uh, really amazing uh, photographs now of the area after the explosion. And you can see the boardwalk is just littered with rocks. That's what these hydrothermal explosions can do. It's not a lot of hot material coming out. It's not a volcanic eruption, but Rocks falling on boardwalks, that's sort of the, the main hazard, that and, and getting splashed with, with really hot water. There are some well-known features in the park, like Indian Pond, east of Fishing Bridge, that were formed by steam explosions centuries ago. I think this sort of potential is what comes with hydrothermal systems in general. I don't know that Biscuit Basin is any more prone to these than any other area. The closest seismometer to Biscuit Basin is at Old Faithful, and it did not register any changes due to the explosion. John Shearer, MTN News.